Dear Neighborhood by Princess Silke von Rothschild Chapter 26 Art of Being Art Princess Silke is art, a constant act of interrelating within her emotions. What came first, the hen or the egg? A smart person might say, neither, it was the thought. Correct, the thought preceded the hen and her egg. Yet by wish of God, why bother? Life has no why. Life is and such is the sun. Warm. Who, what, how created this amazing solar system with plants, earth, nature and all has a warm heart. It's the wish to be, to express, to marvel. The love created the wish in the mind. The mind requires stimulus to act. For Yaal is fight or flight defense. For her, the sun, it's creative, shiny, warm-hearted love, which then became plenty interrelation. You might not have understood what art means. It's a limitless, godlike, godly expression of what is indescribable in words for simplifying. Even literature, to be art, is to be taken in, to be understood, not because of the words, thus harmoniously, rhythmically composed phrasings, yet their meaning. What is in between those wordings is life. So a sense of humor. True art is perceived via Wahrnehmen, German for taking in truth, in awareness, in the emotions. Thus art never ever lacks intelligence. Art is with precision where the cup is empty to be filled with whatever comes up. A Buddhist term. If a cup is full, nothing else fits. By anyone's preconceived notions in interacting to interrelate to anything, a word processor, a canvas, or a piece of paper, and to another person, no relation can be. Writer's block, empty sheet. Manifesting art is to act. Asher shows the diligence and exactitude to make an art piece appear. Like a child, like a child in innocence, never expecting anything bad, let alone producing that as you wish, she approaches anyone. In awe and open observation of what comes to her, she invariably invites you to participate in her marvelous world. She never knows another one. Yet in your violence, beaten, bleeding and bruised, she walks around you day after day, wishing for goodness to come. For you to leave, we do. She literally lives in another world. No evil, no harm, since that is death. She is God, life. Art is God. God is love. Love is life. Life is art infinite. Where are you in this equation? No space for death. Love is interrelation, hence how can God possibly interrelate to y'all? You live in hell, she is in heaven. Animals in human bodies, unthinking soldiers of death, obedient motherfuckers to the delinquency is never her. It's you, and you alone. Shove it. She knows no arrogance. She is spring. Another cycle, new and revolutionizing into the earth of God. New earth. The love is in the knowing. No intellect there. No knowledge to be acquired. Yet knowing is to be seen. Seen means to be perceived. Perception has to be noticed, therefore it must be observed by will. As God observes, she sees. 
Slowly yet in precision, she pushes her brush onto the sheet to produce marvels. Each stroke a choice. Princess Zilke Finest Art. Choices are being made, same as letting go to what her brush wishes, the little guiding stick, the purpose. What is the purpose? To her, producing beautiful art to be worthy of God, herself. Be the best you are, she says, and on she goes about to create. Lastima, not pitiful, you seem mean. No thing you do ever produces but pain. No spring, no art, no observation, no God, no love, thus no love for you. Your filthy, dirty mind, who made you happen? God is back just to make the highway neat and off nitty-gritty down bums as y'all. The second coming, in a fraction, you'll see who you really are.